The birth rates in Scotland have fallen to the lowest since recording began in 1855. I'm Smriti Bhatta. I'm a senior clinical lecturer in the University of Aberdeen and a consultant gynecologist. The trend shows that the fertility rates, birth rates, as well as death rates have all fallen over the last decade. So by fertility rates, we mean that the average number of children a woman would have amongst a group of women. And for the population to be stable, this needs to be around two. Currently, it's only 1.25 on average and worse in the major cities. Like in Aberdeen, it's only one. This decline is worldwide, it's not only local. And it is because women are delaying their fertility and childbearing until later on in the years. 20 to 30 is the peak reproductive age group where your chances of bearing a child is the maximum. But now what we see is that most of the childbearing is happening between 30 to 35 and even in later years, where of course your chances are reduced because of the aging of your ovaries and eggs not performing as well. The other factors which have been seen are the economic factors and the cost of living rising, as well as changes in our society and the trends we are seeing with bearing relationships. Since 2014, the death rates have actually exceeded the birth rates. And whenever this happens, we have a downward trend and number of people who are in our population. And our young workforce reduces, as well as the aging population increases. And that then has a bearing on our socioeconomic infrastructure, as well as the way we have societal norms or the family ways. I think thinking about fertility should be a priority, not something to be left for the later on years. And now, if for career reasons or lack of a suitable partner for women, if you are dealing fertility, we have well-established technologies like egg freezing, you know, which you can consider. At the organizational as well as government level, I think we need policies which do encourage childbearing rather than being frowned upon. But ultimately, it's an individual and collective response which needs to be there so that we have our fertility and birth rates up.